She was in many ways extraordinary. You've probably heard the name Mary McLeod Bethune before, but do you know the woman and her story? Mary McLeod Bethune was one of uh, this country's most iconic and historic um, figures of the uh, previous century. Born in Maysville, South Carolina in 1875, Mary McLeod Bethune came to Central Florida just before the turn of the century. Determined to give an education to black women in 1904 with just $1.50 to her name, Mary McLeod Bethune started the Educational and Industrial Training School for Negro Girls. Today, the small house which bore her school sits on the edge of her university, Bethune-Cookman University. While growing her educational institution, Dr. Bethune became a presence on the national stage. Mrs. Bethune is off to the San Francisco conference as a special consultant. Dr. LeBrin Kreit, the current president of BCU. She was a counselor to several presidents. She was the founder of the National Council of Negro Women. She was the co-creator of the iconic United Negro College Fund and She just happened to start uh, a great university. Becoming close friends with Eleanor and President Franklin Roosevelt, in 1933, Mary McLeod Bethune created the Federal Council of Negro Affairs. Known as Roosevelt's Black Cabinet, the group advised the president and others after him on a range of issues impacting black Americans. And in 1945, Dr. Bethune accompanied President Harry Truman to the founding conference of the United Nations. She was the only black woman to attend. Beyond the campus and beyond our community, there are many people who don't know the significance of Mary McLeod Bethune's accomplishments. And she was amazing. Nancy Lohman is working to make sure that the world knows about Mary McLeod Bethune. You know, she she was unbelievable. She was an unbelievable organizer. She had remarkable faith. She was a beautiful speaker. Um, She was diligent in her perseverance for uh, rights as, and uh, she was a community activist who worked towards African-American rights and women's rights. Because of all of those things, Mary McLeod Bethune is about to be memorialized with an incredibly rare honor. She will be one of the two Floridians to represent the state and the U.S. Capitol Statuary Hall. Mary McLeod Bethune will also be the first African-American to represent a state there. Lohman is the chair of the Dr. Mary McLeod Statuary Fund and a driving force behind the project. It is truly a project that represents all of us, but particularly, of course, our community, the state of Florida, all African-Americans, all women. I mean, this is a, this is a project that I want everyone to embrace.